and the winner is... Hello and welcome to the channel. And in this week's video, you guessed it, I'm going to talk about the Player Choice Awards of 2021. For the people that don't know the Airsoft Player Choice Awards, that is a voting competition going on on the internet where you can nominate uh, 26 different categories and where people can vote for their favorite and then in the end you have a winner. And this will be the 12th time that this will be happening. And the process of doing that is the following. Well, you have the nomination period. That is what we're in right now. You can uh, send in your nomination for the 26 different categories. And after that, the five top nominations will be chosen. And then there will be a voting period. And I think the voting period starts 16th of December and ends somewhere in January. And then after that, you have the uh, winner. How do you say that? They will announce the winner in every category. And I have been voting for this for years now, uh, but now with my channel, I had something like, yeah, let's make this a little bit bigger. Everybody's at home. Everybody can send in his nomination. Everybody can do the voting. So let's everybody uh, send in your nomination and do the voting and make this a little bit bigger so we can connect all around the world with airsofters everywhere. Um, and with this video, I will show you my nominees for my personal nominees but also if you have some nominees that um that your favorite things are uh, just post them in the comments um i'm just it's really interesting to see what people nominate and if you don't want to tell me that's also fine just don't just put something else in the comments uh but if you want to tell me just post it here or go to my discord i will have a different channel for it where we can discuss this uh because i think it's really interesting to just talk about stuff let's talk about their self stuff now all the links of this will also be in the description so where you can vote for it or where you can send your nominations and i will also link my discord here where we can have a talk about this now this year there will be 26 different categories where you can send in your nomination but i will not give a nominee for every category uh, for several reasons because uh, one it's not in my area because i don't know what's going on in asia or america i will focus on everything europe based or i have no experience with a platform for example i don't use hpa so i have no idea what hpa unit is best or i never used or tested a product for example sniper rifles i'm not i don't know i i never used it so i i well i used it sometimes but i don't have anything to compare it with so i will not fill in that category and the last thing is i just don't know what it is uh, or how to answer it so yeah uh, but I will get a little bit more clarified while we go over the categories. So yeah, let's go to the website and I will show you who my nominees are, but I will also give a little bit more explanation why I chose that nominee for that category. So here we go. So I will just click on the language and I will fill it in in English because there is no Dutch. And otherwise, if I pick Dutch, you wouldn't understand it anyway. So here we go. So I will have to send in my information. Um, so I will do that later. Um, so yeah, it's personal stuff. So my nominee for the best airsoft retailer in uh, North America is... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Not filling it in. My nominee for the best airsoft retailer for Central and South America is... Same thing. Nope. My nominee for best airsoft retailer for airsoft is... That is airsoft shop Europe. So I chose Airsoft Europe. It's basically the same shop, but it's just Europe for the uh, the European distributors of, of all the gear and the, the, the shipping stuff. Um, but the reason I chose this is I have been following this shop for years and years, and they have been grown from a garage little thingy to the shop they are today and the web shop and everything around that. And for my opinion, if you go there as a new player, you get help really well. And for me, that's the main reason why I chose this shop. It, it has a amazing customer service if you need any help they will help you with that and besides that they are not only like i said not an online web store but they also have a physical store where you can test some things out and you can fit it and for me as an airsofter that's really interesting to just fit the gear uh before uh, just ordering it and sending it back i just like to go to a store and try to try some things on so they got everything and that's why this is my pick my nominee for the best airsoft retailer for asia is uh nope and then we come to the best gear retailer, North America, not going to answer. And then my nominee for best gear retailer for Europe, that is Helicon Tax. Just have to fill in the website and stuff like that. So they 
if it's something that they don't know so they can check it out and they can give the information to the people. Now, Helicon is a brand that I have been using for years and not just for airsoft but also going to airsoft events, uh, going on a trip to airsoft events and um, for me that's really important and also if you like day-to-day -day stuff you can use it for your PMC stuff and especially with the new stuff that is coming out with the new lines they're making yeah it's just getting better and better but I have been using uh, jackets, pants, um, a lot of stuff is, is Helicon and I just love to use it. And if I had to choose one specific item from Helicon, I would just love their fleece watch caps. I just love them. I have around six everywhere that they, they, they are in my backpack, they are in my car, they are everywhere, they are small, they're really warm and I just love them. If there is one item that you need everywhere, that's the fleece watch cap. I just love it. Um, gear retailer for Asia. Uh, not for me. My nominee for best airsoft magazine, that is Airsoft Action. Why? Because it's a magazine that has a lot of different stuff in it. It has, it's not just a few pages, it's like really a book of content for if you want to read something. And I'm not the biggest reader, but if I want to read something airsoft related, this is where I go to. You can find it online. You don't have to buy the physical magazine. You can just put it on your iPad, scroll through it in your sofa while you are uh, sitting in front of your little fire and just scroll to the airsoft items. And there is something in there for everybody. And I like the way it's written. It's written by different people. Uh, there is content from all around the world. I just, yeah, it has a little bit of everything and that's why I like it. Uh, I will have to fill in the website later. My nominee for the best English airsoft news site is, I don't know, as I said, um, I don't read that much. I'm more of a, a video person, so I watch videos about stuff. Um, so I have no idea what Airsoft websites there are. I even went to checking out the nominees of last year and the year before, and I checked out the websites. Uh, but I didn't really find what the one that stood out for me, like this is my nominee for this year. So I'd rather not fill it in because I have not really an idea on who is the best and who I should nominate for this. But uh, yeah, for me, this is something that I want to check out later, uh, check out next year, so I can have a nominee for next year. Because I know there are some good ones out there. I just never go to one and never read it. So if you have some good ones, just post them in the comments because I have no idea where to start. Or um, yeah, just give me some recommendations in the comments. My nominee for best uh, non-English, yeah, same thing, even, yeah. Not going to fill it in. My nominee for the best airsoft blog in any language, that is Hotel Whiskey. And a lot of people will not know this one because it's a small Finnish blogger that makes the most amazing content. I just love the way his content is built up. It's showing him what he loves to do. It's not anything forced. There are no product placements. It's just him and the things that he loves to do. And that's what he's writing about. And you can read in the things that he's writing that he loves doing what he's doing. It's focused on 80s and 90s gear a lot, and or mostly it's based on that, but it's also a lot focused on LARPing in bigger airsoft games. And both of those things are something that really interesting and fun to read about. It's just, yeah, it's just a man with a plan and I just love it when it comes together. There we go, some 80s and 90s reference. My nominee for the best airsoft community forum uh, that will be Airsoft Nonsense. And Airsoft Nonsense is a Facebook group that focuses on the fun things about Airsoft. Yes, you can ask a lot of serious questions and maybe you get a serious answer and you will get some funny ones too. But if you have a question, you can post it in there. Um, this is how Airsoft should be, having fun with other people. And if you have a question, you get answers. And if you want to have fun, just go to Airsoft Nonsense, post something, follow that Airsoft page uh, or follow their Facebook page. And will you, yeah, there are some updates every day, some new funny posts or interesting posts every day. So yeah, um, that's for me. That's a really nice community. It was started in the Netherlands, but it has grown to an international community. And yeah, I just like it. Also, they lost their page, I think a few weeks ago or a few months ago. So that's also one of the reasons why I want to put it in here. They had around 12,000 uh, members on their page and, and it just, yeah, Facebook deleted their page and they're starting from scratch. So yeah, just go to the Airsoft Nonsense Facebook group and follow that group so you get the notifications from everything that is posted there. My nominee for best Airsoft video posted in 2021. I have no ID. I have no ID. 
I have been thinking for this one for so long and I have no ID. There wasn't one video for me that just stood out. I could make a list of 10 different videos that I watched and that I liked, but there is not one video in 2021 that I was like, this is just amazing. So yeah, this one is weird for me just to keep open because I have no idea. I will be really, it will be really interesting to see what people will nominate for this because I have no idea. I will vote for this and I will watch all the videos that will be posted about this um, because I want to know what people drive to say that this is the best airsoft video in 2021. So yeah, um, yeah, this is a weird one. I have no idea what to fill in and... Um, I will just keep, leave it blank if I don't have an ID to who I want to nominate. This one is weird. Now my nominee for the best airsoft event with over 500 players and held in 2021. I will do the same thing as I did last year. Uh, because of COVID and all the restrictions that were held, I will not nominate anyone in this category. Why? Because there were only a few events that were over the 500 people. And yeah, I, I can't. I didn't went to one so for next year I have a few bigger events planned so I can like send in what event that I liked and I don't want to send in events because I heard people liking them because I want to experience those events myself because then it's the only way that you can have a good representation of what you think is good. This is something that I, I like about the player choice awards you don't have to fill in everything if you don't know what you want to fill in a category just don't fill it in and go to the next one that you want to fill in even if you want to only fill in one it can help uh, with the nomination round and it ha can help to pick a winner or uh, a nominee so yeah so even if you only want to fill in one category just fill in the nomination form spread the word so other people can do the same thing and yeah the more people fill in this form the better the representation is on what airsofters want around the world now the next one i will answer and that is the nominee for best airsoft podcast or video channel is and that is a really easy pick and that is quad and if you don't know quad go look them up on youtube they make the best airsoft videos that are out there and why didn't i fill out any video in the previous channel because there is not one video that is the best there the channel is the best you can find out there right now in my opinion for airsoft geeks and anything airsoft related they make videos with the highest production quality that i have seen for airsoft videos they do their research they make their own stuff there are a bunch of friends that are having fun together and it's just so uh, so fun to watch their videos. So yeah, it's it's smart. It's funny. It's informative and they keep getting better So yeah, this was for me a really easy pick if you don't know those guys just go to YouTube give them a sub or whatever just just watch the videos and um, Tell them what you like about them or whatever. Just find them on YouTube and give them some support My nominee for best upgrade parts maker is well since I don't upgrade my guns or don't change a lot of the guns and if I change something I will change it by the things that the manufacturers tell me to uh, so it's mostly just the same part again so I don't upgrade so I will not answer this question um, my nominee for best airsoft kaboom that is airsoft innovation why did I choose airsoft innovation because they bring out really good products and for me it started all with the first tornado that they built um, that could be used just to throw in a room and um, it's no explosion, it's no pyro, it's just gas spitting out BBs around the room. And their tornado grenade was, that was really awesome. And I still have a few laying around and I'm still using them. And they tried to make that grenade better and better. They tried to learn and, and try some new stuff. And with the new stuff, there comes like, that's innovation. You fail sometimes and with that fail, you learn some new stuff and you make something better. And in my opinion, that is what they do. They try something it's good if it fails they'd make it better and for me throwing a bb grenade into a room full of players is for me still the safest way to uh use grenades in airsoft so yeah this is my pick for the airsoft kaboom nominee for hpa airsoft engines i don't use hpa so i have no idea what is out there on the market uh, my nominee for best airsoft pistol that is the ics challenger and it's made by ics the reason why I chose this pistol, even though I don't have it, is because I have been following the process of this pistol and I know people that have been using it for a lot and I have been following the process on how to 
how it was made and how things were changed during the process. So the ICS Challenger is a pistol that is amazing for people that wants to get into like use your pistol as a primary but don't want to do a lot of upgrading. You can just take this pistol out there and there are already a lot of upgrades in there. I'm not going to go into too much detail about everything that is in there. So yeah, this is a great pistol out of the box um, and if you want to upgrade it, you can change almost everything on that pistol if you want to upgrade it, but you don't have to upgrade it. So it, yeah, it's something for everybody and that's something that I really like. It's a versatile pistol that it can be used in a lot of different uh, scenarios. For me personally, I use always my pistol as a backup, never as a primary. So that is the reason why I don't have that one yet because this one is a really good pistol that can be used as a primary. Best airsoft gas bloke rifle. I don't have one, so I cannot fill in that category. My memory for best airsoft shotgun, I can give you my recommendation here. And for me, that's I think this is the easiest category for me to pick one. That is the Tokyo Mari M3 Shorty. Well, for me, it's the Shorty Custom because I have a custom build one because they didn't have the full stocks back in the day. Um, and I changed some other things on it. But for me, this is the best reliable shotgun out there. It doesn't break and I... For the people that have seen me play, um, yeah, I'm not the most slow player. I, I'm quite active with my stuff. So yeah, the shotgun flies away and just hit grounds, rocks, whatever. There is dirt in it. I even swam with it. Uh, I, I went to a swamp with it and it's still working fine. Um, I have tried that with other brands and they're just not holding up. This one is the best you can, you can buy. Um, and it's spring operated, you, you don't need anything, you don't need gas, you don't need batteries, it's, it's always working and I always have it with me as my backup if I don't use it as my primary. So yeah, this one is by far the easiest pick, this is the best shotgun you can buy. Yeah, easy. And it's made by Tokimari. My nominee for Airsoft Sniper, as I said, I don't use snipers, um, so I will not fill in this category. My nominee for best electric gun, that is also ICS CXP XP Arc. So for the people that have been following the channel, they know that I try to test one rifle every year. And for this year, 2021, I have been using the ICS Arc. And in the beginning, when I saw it, like when I saw the first drawings of it, I, I was so hyped to get it. When I saw the first pictures of it, I was even more hyped. And when I got the box at home, yeah, I was super hyped and when i opened the box everything that i hoped for was there and when i start playing with it during COVID and and all that stuff it was really hard to go out to play but the more i use it the more i just feel in love with it it's a, it does what it has to do it just feels right it it's a solid gun it yeah i just love it and uh, that's why this is my pick for the best airsoft uh, aeg in 2021 and you don't have to change anything about it i use it stock and it's yeah it's it's just good i just love it and it's made by ics um so yeah my nominee for the best airsoft manufacturer is uh, ics because i have been an ics captain for four years and that's not because they give me free stuff or the things that I get from them to so I can give it to other people. It's just because I like the way the company and their products are made. And the more I learn about the company and how everything is going there, uh, the more you get involved with everything. And for me, ICS is a really good company and they bring out some really interesting rifles to the market. It's not focused on one type of platform. They have AKs, they got M4s, they got World War II guns, but they also got the MGL. That's a boom, 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 grenade launcher. They have such a variety of different rifles and this is why this is my pick for best airsoft manufacturer. Oh yeah, and they also try to innovate with a lot of new stuff and the split gearbox is still one of my favorite things to work on if I have to replace some parts of my rifle. So yeah, ICS is for me, uh, my pick for this category. And we got two more categories to go and, and my nominee for the special airsoft player award for the males is Andrew lie because Andrew is one of the most positive people that I ever met in airsoft he will if he talks about airsoft or anything airsoft related he will suck you in it and he's just positivity in a human body 
yeah, it's all I can say about it. If you talk with, about Aerosoft with him, he's enthusiastic. It's also one of the people that uh, is in quad, and that is, he's the face of quad. And that is might be the reason why their videos are so good, because if you see his face, it just, yeah, it, it sucks you in there, and it, it's one piece of positivity in a human body. And we need more people like that in the Airsoft community. And it's not that he has the most likes or followers or the, the most viewed videos on the internet. No, this is about the person. And I really love that person the way he is. And this is why he's getting my nomination for this award. And I hope with this video that more people will check him out and more people will nominate him because he deserves it to be nominated for this category. So hopefully uh, this is one of the categories that I really want to push. If you don't know what to do, Joe, go check out Andrew and see what he does. And hopefully uh, you will agree with me and you will nominate him also. Just let, let's get him in there and, and give him some appreciation for what he has done in the airsoft community. And he's from Taiwan. Reason why I nominated? I just told you. I will fill this in later. Uh, the last category is nominee for the Special Airsoft Player Award. Female. Yeah, for me that is not the hardest decision to make. And that's skinny bitch. Why? Um, people will tell me like, yep, it's your wife. It's normal that you do that. Uh, if you don't do that, you will die and stuff like that. Uh, but there is actually a lot of reasoning about this and why I picked her. Now, Skinny Beach or Lisa has been playing Airsoft for 15 years and she has been doing that just to have fun and as a hobby. This is the only reason why she is in Airsoft because she likes to play Airsoft. If she goes to a game, she goes there to have fun and just to win the mission or just go for the mission. She will get down and dirty. She will try everything in the book that it's allowed to do to win that game and be as active as possible and that's something that you need on an airsoft field she's an example of the it will do mentality she doesn't have the most fanciest gear she doesn't have uh the most fanciest clothing or shoes or whatever she gets on what is needed for the mission and she goes for it she has been going to uh bigger mill sims smaller events and she is supportive in uh the best way possible and that's just on the field. Off the field, she's promoting herself with a lot of positivity. And she's also a supportive role in people with disabilities trying to get into the game and not feeling left out. She will be one of the first people that try, will try to help that person to get into the game and just create that safe space so they can have fun in their own way. And one of the reasons that she does that is because she has autism and she doesn't hide it. It's who she is and how she's going and coping with life and she shows that to the people that you don't have to hide away you can just go out to an airsoft field and go crazy with the people that are on there because everybody's there to have fun and if you feel tucked away in a corner she will be there and help you out and make you as comfortable as possible and this is the reason why i nominate her for the special airsoft player award female so yep yeah, uh <laughs> i almost forgot to fill in the rest of it and she is from belgium reason why I nominated her just told you um, I will fill this in later and then I just have to click submit and all my nominations for the 12 airsoft player choice awards will be sent to popular airsoft and they will do their thing with it so yeah um, that's all it takes uh, it, it, it takes less time if you don't have to make a video about it so so if I can ask you one thing just go to the website it will be in the description and fill in your nominees for any category that you want to fill it in and send it to the popular airsoft awards because uh, the more nominees they have the better the representation for airsoft around the world and that's the best thing to end off this video with just go there and uh, fill in your nominees and give them some love and with this, I want to end up the video and uh, I will be here next week with a new video. Bye.